I want to show you how easy it is to turn your videos into slow motion inside DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here in DaVinci, I'm going to go ahead and set up a timeline, and I'll do that by right clicking timelines, create new timeline. So creating new timeline, I'm going to leave it with just this default name. I'm going to uncheck this use project settings. And I'm doing that because I'm going to go into format and see the frame rate for the timeline. So 24 frames per second. That's actually usually what I like to be in. Now this can be whatever you want it to be. If you have the goal of having your video end up looking a lot more cinematic like they do in the movies, a lot of them are filmed or at least exported at 24 frames per second. You go ahead and hit create. Now that we have the timeline, I'm going to pull in our footage. So I have three videos here. I'm just gonna grab those and pull them in, play that through. That one you can already see looks really jittery. I'm gonna go over to the next one. Same with this one. And this one actually looks a little bit normal, has that natural motion blur. So now in order to have a buttery smooth slow motion, we need to know the frame rates that we're working with. To do that, we'll go back over and open up our media pool. And if you're seeing this thumbnail view to get out of that, you can click this list view here. And I'm gonna scroll over and look for frames per second or FPS. If you don't see frames per second, you can just right click over here and then toggle that on right there. So we've got one video that is 120 frames per second, another one that's 60 frames per second, Another one that's 23.976 or 24 frames per second. Now that we know the frame rate that the videos were recorded at, it'll be a lot easier to know what to slow them down to in the timeline. This first one is the 120 frames per second video. And to slow that down to a 24 frames per second timeline, the ability to open up and retime videos is super simple. There's two ways to do that inside DaVinci. The first way is to select the footage and I'm going to hold down Control R. Now you see a percentage right here. And we can click this drop down, and we have the ability to choose a percentage right here. Or if we just hover over the top, whenever you see the two arrows going side to side, you click and drag, and now you can slow it down. And the reason I like this view is because you can actually see on the timeline how long the video is gonna be, instead of just putting a percentage and it overriding other footage. So the ideal percentage for 120 frame per second video to get to 24 frames per second is going to be 20%. So I'm gonna to have to move these over and I'll drag that out to 20%. Right there, now we're at 20% and it should play back in slow motion. Yep, look at that, I'll go full screen. Got a nice slow motion of some eggs benedict. Now that we have the 120, let's check out the 60 frames. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with the other way by clicking R and percentage and to go from 60 frames per second to a 24 timeline, go to 40%. Okay, now that we have it, we can extend it to the full amount and let's play this back. As you can see, the 60 frames per second versus the 120 frames per second is a little bit faster just because there are less frames for the video to actually put together to make it go slow-mo. We're at our last clip, which is 24 frames per second. And if we wanted to slow this down by, let's say, the same amount that we used earlier for 60 frames per second, so 40%, you're gonna notice a little bit of jitteriness and it just looks very choppy. You can actually make this a lot smoother and look a lot more realistic inside DaVinci Resolve. To do that, you want to make sure your clip is selected and we're going to go over to retime and scaling inside the inspector. So if you don't see that, you want to make sure your inspector is open and then right here, retime and scaling, it may be closed like that. So just click it open retime process so for this i like to go with optical flow you have other options like nearest frame frame blending but optical flow seems to be the most realistic 
and you also have motion estimation. I like to go with enhanced better just because obviously if it's enhanced and better, it's going to end up looking better. Scaling, you don't really have to worry about these, especially resize filter. You only really have to worry about that if you are zooming in some footage. Now let's see what that same 24 frames per second looks like slowed down by 40%. Now it actually looks like it's slow motion that was shot in camera or meant to be like this. Do keep in mind, you may see a little bit of artifacting doing this. So it's not going to be completely perfect, but it is a great alternative when you haven't shot for slow motion ahead of time. And a prime example of that is if I go back to the beginning and show you the flames, it's going to look really, really weird. There's too much movement going on between the frames and there's not enough frames for it to actually process how it's going to look when slowed down. So a great thing is that you can also utilize this process if you wanna make already slow-mo footage even more slow motion. We'll go back to this Eggs Benedict that's already 20% and we're gonna drag that out. Let's go to 10%. And we'll go back over to the retime and scaling and make sure that we've got optical flow, enhance better, and let's see how this looks. Yeah, we took slow motion footage and made it even more slow motion or slower, slower motion. So keep in mind, if you are planning on shooting anything that you want to be in slow motion, to always have a higher frame rate than what your timeline's going to be at. And here are all the percentage conversions that you wanna utilize when turning a certain frame rate footage into a 24 frame per second timeline for that perfect looking slow motion. And if you don't shoot with the intent for slow motion, but you come in to edit, and you do want to implement slow motion into a couple of shots that you had taken, now you know how to do it in DaVinci where it will look really, really good.